All right. Well, I just no, I'm not going into that tower. So I'm just gonna go over to this random route and just see what's over here. So this, we'll just make this next part. And we still got your end with me. Yep. Uh, we're now going to rape ship. We're gonna rape this girl, right? Yeah, well, yeah. Well, she looks like she needs to be raped. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> okay, I need to get another Pokemon out because now I'm not fighting fucking ghosts. I can actually do shit without a Pokemon. So actually, I think I'm gonna run back there and heal. Oh, son of the bitch! Oh man. You know what's kind of annoying about Pokemon games? Everything. Like, yeah, but like every time uh, an enemy tries to put a debuff on you, it always has like a hundred percent chance of like landing a hit on you or, or uh, inflicting you with that debuff. Like, I don't get that. Fuck. Yeah. But, yeah, it, pretty much. Not always. That's not, that's not always true. What the fuck's this? Follow me? It's like flipping you off right there. <laughs> what the fuck did she do there? Like, follow me! Woo! Okay. <laughs> nice. Leveled up 28. Troll Trio. Fuck no, I'm not gonna change. Fucking Troll Trio are ev everywhere. <laughs> Fucking magnitude that shit. Here's this follow me shit again. Fucking, like, mystery move. Oh. There we go. I need Chase or Ninpen to tell me what the fuck it does. <laughs> They're Pokemasters. Oh they know God. all. Dude, oh, Chase, he fucking knows like what Poke what people what Pokemon trainers have like before I fight them. <laughs> He's like a living, walking, breathing walkthrough. Pokemon <laughs> God, yeah. <laughs> Gamer rich. Gameragi. Oh god. <laughs> hey guys. Is that HG the right there? Oh yeah, it might be. Why am I asleep? <laughs> what? You bitch. That, that's like the Pokemon that HG always puts in his uh, icon or something, right? Arcanine. It's the evolved form of him. What the? Quit roaring me away! You just. John is a bitch! Oh. <sighs> Odor Sleuth. What a pointless move. Wake up, buddy. Maybe you should start singing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there we go. Too bad I can't hear the music. Yeah, you're not missing much. <laughs> Vulpix, I want Vulpix. I'm looking. I'm looking for a Vulpix, actually. Oh yeah. That's, that's gonna be another. That's gonna be another uh, addition to my Pokemon. And then I don't know what I'm looking for. Something. I was thinking about getting Arcanine, but uh, I kind of want a Nine Tails. Eh. I never use Nine Tails. Nine Tails X Gamer. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's in here. The what? Oh, no, the Pokemon the fucking you're after? Pidgey. Oh. Well, let me uh, let me see if we can find a Vulpix in here. I'm gonna just speed up just for this. Sandshrew? Okay. I don't care about fucking Sandshrews. Meowth? I don't care about fucking Meowth. I don't think there's gonna be catch any more. Him. I don't think there's gonna be any more Pokemon in here. Why couldn't I escape for a second? The fuck was that? Isn't about? he a Team Rocket Pokemon? Yeah, he's the little, he's a little fucking buddy. Okay, I don't know if there's gonna be a Vulpix in here. I don't think there's gonna be. Okay, I'm leaving. That was fun. Yeah. That was fun. Okay. Yep. <clears throat> uh, oh, scientist oh. randomly. What's he doing out here? Isn't he supposed to be in like a laboratory or doing something? Doing field study, little piece of super nerd Glenn. Super nerd Glenn. Ooh, Grimer. Sexy. Unfortunately, Troll Trio is not amused. You know what they should have in Pokemon games? What? They should have like a a random uh, Pokemon Pokemon trainer called the Super Troll Ted or something. I don't know. Super Troll Ted. Like a yeah. troll. <laughs> he has 99 potions and heals all his Pokemon all the time. <laughs> 
Oh, that'd be <laughs> pissed me off. <laughs> and you'll do all these stupid debuffs on you just to annoy you. Yeah, make you fall asleep, confuse, <laughs> fall asleep, confuse, roar, 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 can't escape. <laughs> Every time you hit him, he heals a Pokemon. Every time he takes one hit. He says, you mad, bro? You mad, bro? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great. That pissed me off. <laughs> what is that thing? I've never seen that Pokemon before. Uh, it's a Grimer. It's like liquid mu muck. It's looks like, liquid, like a flan. Liquid sludge. Yeah, it looks like a flan it's from Final like Fantasy. Kind of like a flan. You fucking, do you know about Final Fantasy IV? Oh yeah. Uh, do you know about the pink ta rat tail? Um, which Final Fantasy IV? The... The one with Cecil. I mean the, I mean the, the PSP or DS or... Um, we'll go with, uh, the, um... Uh, Advance. Oh, the Game Boy Advance version? I never actually played the Game Boy Advance version, but I did play the DS one. So I don't know about all the super bo secret bosses from that game, if you had any. Uh, well, I thought the Pink Rat Tail was in the original game, but I could be wrong. Cause I know they added a bunch of new bosses, I think, a new, a new dungeon in the Game Boy Advance version. Oh yeah. Yeah, I never played that version before, so I don't know what you're talking about. No, it's actually in the uh, Moon Dungeon. Um, the Moon the lun Dungeon? Lunar Subterrain. Oh. And it's a, uh, there's a room, and it's only this one room. Where a set of pink flan, I think what they're called. Oh, I know what you're talking about. I know exactly what you're... Don't you get, like, a certain item, like a rare item from beating them? Um, it's a, it's a 1 out of 256 chance that it will drop after you beat them. And you use that to exchange it for a adamant armor. Oh my god, I know what you're talking about. I've done that before. I did it on the DS version. Yeah. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, my brother, my brother did it, and he he did it for like three hours, back and forth in that room. Yeah, that took he a while. Got it. Um, and I think like it has to be six that you fight. Like it can it can be less. Like it has to be six of those pink things, and it's those little pink weird fucks. They're oh like, yeah. They're like from from like the start of the game to the end, but. That's I just remembered that. That's fucking badass. Like, the lunar subterranean in itself is fucking amazingly badass. Even the music. <laughs> oh, that music, epic. Yeah. It's, it's in the, the very end music, the, like the, in that. It's the intro pistol. music, right? Yeah. Oh, and the end music. Yeah, the end music's the boss music. Yeah, but when you enter that one crystal part, like the very last area, they change oh, the music. I think, yeah. and that was pretty cool too. And... Yeah, it's 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 amazing. Like that is such an a cre incredible finale of that game. You go on the fucking moon, and you fight moon, <laughs> and you fight moon creatures. Like the yeah. reason I, I like I like that game so much. It's probably one of my favorite. It's probably my fa favorite Final Fantasy in terms of story. Maybe Final yeah. Fantasy VI, but like because like the whole time you think it's Goldblaz and the Tower of Dabel and the, the water and the elements and shit are all and the crystals are all fucking bad. But yeah. then suddenly you find out that there's this fucking blue whale that's a rocket ship. <laughs> and, there's some, and there's some fucking mastermind lunar l lunar guy in the middle of the middle of the moon fucking plotting to destroy the world. <laughs> it's like what? And it just fucking sprawls like on you like like more like three fourths into the game, and you're like, wow, we have a new villain now. Yeah, and then you find out that Gold Goldbez is your brother, and that's yeah. kind of like a brain fuck. <laughs> yeah, or mind and, fuck. and he helps you for a little bit, but then it's too, but yeah. he, he gets a fucking emo. Yeah. And then Kane gets like possessed. That's pretty awesome. And what the fuck is this fucking trainer line here? Look at this. <laughs> what the fuck are they? Is this like glitched out or something? That's so weird. But but did you, did you ever notice how uh, Final Fantasy IV rips off of uh, Star Wars a lot? No. You ever notice that? I haven't actually because I don't really give a shit to like fuck about Star Wars. <laughs> to be honest. Yeah, I mean the story is kind of rip off, kind of, but oh. um, it's like Goldbez is Darth Vader sort of, and going to space. Um, I don't know. It some of it does rip off Star Wars, but I don't really care. I never thought of it that way. Yeah. Um. 
But yeah, it was. It, I think Final Fantasy IV does have one of the best uh, Final Fantasy storylines in the series. But it was never my, it was never my favorite game. Um, I, I think my favorite game was um, Final Fantasy VII. I have to admit, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, it's a good game. But uh, I don't know about anybody else, but I did not shed a tear when Eris got stabbed by Sephiroth. I never really cared about her. Like I she's never her. an important she's fucking part useless of She's a fucking yeah. useless character. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm, I'm probably fucking breaking people's hearts, but <laughs> I fucking she's a fucking useless character. So is Tifa. It's all about Red Thirteen and fucking Cloud and Vincent or some shit. Vincent. <laughs> Hey, dude, I yeah. used Vincent because he was fucking cool looking. He was a bit of an emo, but he was cool looking. Yeah. He had a gun. It was neat. But I fucking used Red 13 fucking all the time. Did you ever beat Emerald Weapon and Ruby Weapon? Yes. Oh, my Me God, too. dude. Tell you the story about that. Fucking, I tried and tried, and two years after beating Final Fantasy VII, I came back to it and finally beat them. Uh, it took Emerald me, like, Weapon, five years. Emerald Weapon is a fucking prick. And, um, because you were time limit. But Ruby Weapon was a true fucker. Did you know you could paralyze him with, uh, the Hades summon? Exactly. That is why <laughs> I came back after two years, because I learned <laughs> that you could use Hades, because I tried to kill him before, that he fucking, and he, he fucking whirlwinds your characters out and all that bullshit. But no, Hades stuns his tentacles, which is the danger part, and then you just fucking use Knights of the Round and, and W, <laughs> and W summon, or... And, and mime to fucking HP do, absorb to fucking do two knights of the rounds at a time fucking ridiculous yeah you gotta put like HP absorb on knights of the round and so oh you can get your God, HP yeah, back and then ridiculous. yeah and then mime and yeah oh that game's too I, 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 dude I don't think I can handle those games anymore they're too fucking like fucking Final Fantasy 8 the junction system makes me want to fucking gouge my eyes out that, that game is so broken like if you if you junction enough like you can beat the final boss and like a few rounds. Oh yeah, dude, easily. just fucking junction your attack power to Ultima. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's ridiculous. Or if you get Aura, if you like, if you Aura, the move that makes you invincible. If you no, fuck... that's the uh, limit break move, I think. The. I thought there was a move called Aura. Uh, there's an item that can make your party invincible. Yeah, it's golden. Yeah, I, know. I thought there was a move called Aura though. What the fuck? There, there right. is, but it, it it does the limit breaks like. Oh, it does the limit break. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, if you just if you use that for your hit points, I think you like fucking have like a million hit points. But what <laughs> I like, about, yeah. But what I like about the Final Fantasy games is that there's always like an Easter egg boss that's harder than the last boss. So like, like, like yeah. for instance, like you know the Emerald Weapon, Ruby Weapon. But like you see on Final Fantasy VIII, there was the Omega Weapon, which is fucking oh, yeah. hard as fuck. And the Ultimate Weapon too. <laughs> Yeah, and the ultimate weapon too. And in the Final Fantasy IX, I have never beaten to this day the uh, ultimate boss. Me too. I could. I couldn't do it. That fucking, I never got around to it. It's a fucking floating Easter. Egg. It's a fucking floating literal Easter egg. Like it's a fucking white egg with like blue and red confetti on it, and it fucking spins around in Chocobo Garden. Man, <laughs> that shit's ridiculous. You yeah. Can't, you can't beat that thing. It beats the shit out of you. That little fucking. It's like a, it's like, it's like a globe. Ozma, yeah, Ozma. That's about. his name, Ozma. I didn't even. Oh yeah, I didn't even know about him until like six years after playing the game. To be honest, and I yeah. lost my save file. I can't find it. Yeah, I have. I I'd have to hook up my PlayStation, and I don't feel like doing that. <laughs> yep. <sighs> but oh, levitate! Fucking levitate! Son of the bitch! I just ripped my toenail off, and I'm like bleeding right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's kind of cool. Not really, but that's, huh? I didn't rip the whole thing off, but like I kind of like try to cut it, and like it's kind of bleeding a little bit. Well, to him. <laughs> uh. Kind of random. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm not sure what to say about that. Why? <laughs> and uh, well, back to Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy VI is amazing because. Oh yeah. You had a party, and you didn't necessarily have the lead character. And once the World of Ruin came apart, it was up to you if you wanted to tackle Kefka's tower when you get Setzer's airship, or you won the final your party members. Yeah. I mean, if you didn't fucking give give a jack shit about a cyan, don't fucking save him from his dream. 
<laughs> in my yeah, opinion, it... in my opinion, Cyan blows and Gal blows Cyan's chunks. Yeah. I just don't. Uh, I like Locke. Yeah, Locke was cool. Yeah, you can get that uh, one item, that one uh, relic that can make you attack like four times in a row or something, Eight right? Eight times. What? Eight times. Eight. Oh my god, it's I had fucking, that. What is it called? It's the uh, the ninja. No, the, I forgot. The, the Genji thing. glove. No, that 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 lets you attack. Do, hold two weapons, I think. Oh, oh two what primaries. Is, what is that thing? The magic box or something? Or I don't remember. <laughs> it was something badass, and you get it from beating the tower. The tower of magi, which is like ninety-nine floors. Oh yeah, and you had that. That was a magic thing where you can attack, where you can cast like a certain amount of spells in a row or something, or, or cat. I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, you could cast like four spells in a row or something. Yeah. The. And you no. get like you can get like the Genji glove at the beginning of the game too. Yeah, you have to what? You have to say that you don't want to help out with the yeah. when you're Terra. How the fuck do I remember that? <laughs> Jeez. That game, man. That, that was fun. game. I watched the Tender Capri Suns. That's when he had he recorded that on a TV. Oh yeah. Yeah, it was. He recorded that on a TV. I yeah. watched that shit. That was interesting. That was I, I had an LP of it myself, but I kind of quit it. <laughs> oh, this leads to Celadon City. Maybe you need to get the flute at Celadon City or some shit. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Someone <laughs> in the comments will tell me. Actually, you know what? Someone in the comments won't tell me because this is gonna be this is literally like seven weeks. This is gonna be like seven weeks later. Oh yeah. And the reason is because I recorded with all my comment co commentaries with all the other people. So yeah, this is and I'm only doing one a week, so this isn't gonna happen for a while. I'll be like knee deep in college. So I could be like dead when this gets uploaded? Yeah. So could <laughs> I. Or I could be like a YouTube success, like with a million subscribers by the time this gets uploaded. Yeah, you could be nigga higa. Yeah, that's that's pretty much the life story or the story of his success. Like seven weeks. <laughs> yeah, dude, he gets fucking like a hundred thousand like in a week. How does he do that shit? Like his videos suck. It's because of the it's the video how to be a ninja and how to be a gangster. It was viral as fuck. Oh. And he has four million subscribers. Four million? And Damn. That's not, that's not over exaggerating. He has four million subscribers. But you know the best part about Nigga Hega is, yeah, what? he sells T-shirts. Who the fuck? Well, I'd sell T-shirts too. But um, you do? He, <laughs> I, I, if I had four million subscribers, yes, <laughs> yes, I would because I would, I would fucking, I'd fucking own five houses. Anyway, <laughs> um, he doesn't have fake thumbnails. He doesn't miscategorize. He doesn't whore himself out. Fuck, he doesn't need to. Yeah. And that's respectable for Mr. Four Million. Where are, where are all these people coming from? That's what I want to know. Like, is there really four million people like that care about stuff like that on YouTube? I guess. <laughs> wow, he can make someone famous overnight. Like, box he could box you or me, and we'd have like a hundred thousand subscribers tomorrow. <laughs> yep, it's, isn't it kind of funny? Yeah. Like how that works? It's very selective. Like he can he has the ability to make you and me like have more subscribers than make like, money. On like one day, probably. Yeah, yeah. It's, he it's, felt it's like weird. It. Yeah. Yeah. It's not very effective, my ass. It wouldn't really. It, I'd be kind of pissed if someone did that to me. Like they gave me like a hundred thousand subscribers in one day. I'd be pissed. It'd pretty much ruin your entire like experience. Yeah, it's like it'd be great and everything. But you know what I would do if you know what I would do if that happened? Because I'm sorry, but the experience would be ruined. Close your account. I don't know if I clip my account. I'd probably, <laughs> I'd probably fucking try to apply for partnership. What? That, yeah. <laughs> like, if I had a hundred, if I got a hundred thousand subscribers in one day, like that would be so overwhelming. I wouldn't be able to keep a schedule or anything. I wouldn't be able to upload. I wouldn't be able to talk to people. Right? It'd be so fucking weird. Oh. oh wouldn't you be mad though? I'm in trouble here. Huh? Wouldn't you be mad though? Like. I guess. I don't know. That, that's such a far off thing. I can't even think of how that would work. But, like, I mean, I'd, I'd, I'd apply for no, a I mean, I'm not saying, like, mad about the number. School, I'd pay off my Sorry? school loans. I'd, I'd, play, I'd apply for a partnership and pay off my school loans. <laughs> oh. So be well, I, I'd be a little mad because, you know, I didn't really earn that amount of subscribers. Oh, no, exactly. Of course. But 
Yeah. I mean, if someone actually like did that on purpose without telling me, like they just boxed me out of nowhere, yeah. and I got a hundred thousand overnight, like I'd be annoyed. I mean, it'd be awesome, but it'd be too know. weird. It'd be weird. It's like I didn't earn that. I didn't, you know, put any work into it. Yeah. I mean, I mean, like I, I I'm not saying like getting subscribers like from being boxed from people is bad or anything. I'm not saying that, but like. If you get like a hundred thousand overnight, like that's kind of you know unfair to other people. If you're a good let's player and a good person in general, it's great if someone boxes you because that's why they did yeah. it. But if you're fucking just like some girl or you're just some guy that fucking for some reason got in the right stream or right conversation with someone and they boxed you and you have zero subscribers and you just zoom up to five hundred in like two weeks. You fucking yeah. piece of shit, and you think that people, and you think you people actually are watching it, your shit? You gotta be fucking kidding me. Yeah, go fuck yourself. They don't even know you. Go fuck yourself, exactly. But if you're fucking an awesome person in general, and you're a good guy, and you actually are good at doing what you do, then fucking that's great if someone boxes you. And yeah. wow, this, this fucking scientist is pissing me off. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Fuck that guy. Yeah, you know, I just hate what I, what I hate about people like that is like they start they start their account like one day and they go up by 500 next week, but they they don't know anything about YouTube and it makes people like me and you that have experience with this, you know, m like makes us less than them because they have like t way more subscribers. It's like they think they're yep. better than you just because they got yep. a shitload of subscribers in a short amount of time. Yep. We actually work for ours. That's what pisses me off. Yeah. Shit's, shit's fucking, shit's brutal. Shit's brutal. Yeah, I, I, I could say something really offensive right now, but I'm not gonna say anything. Alright, dog. <laughs> Just don't throw out names. Yeah, definitely not. I wouldn't, but... I gotta think of a few I'll, I'll bite my tongue on this one. Biting your tongue hurts. I hate when that happens. When you bite your <laughs> tongue, it swells up, so you're prone to bite it again. Yeah. Okay, I mean, we're, gonna, we're gonna check this area really quick. If you bite your tongue on purpose, it's not so bad, but if you accidentally bite your tongue, that's the worst thing in the world. Well, yeah, if you bite your tongue on purpose, it's pretty hard to do. You don't really get hurt. Yeah, but subconsciously, like you, when you're eating food or something, like oh, when, when you don't. Oh, yeah, like, you fucking that's feel the, it. That's the worst. <laughs> Oh, there's Team Rocket, right? Is that Team Rocket right there? Um... Yep. <laughs> they probably have something that, that that deals with the Cubone Mother, I think. I think. So with this said, uh, we got to Celadon City, and we just went a huge fucking route of trainers. That took, seemed like, forever. But, uh, yeah, that's... I'm gonna call it a day there, uh, URN7. Thanks for joining me for these two... Thanks for having me, man. Hell yeah, and we'll see everybody later. See ya.